So I tried to play Project Sunbite as a nomad, and this is what happened. The street was my bed, my storage, and my living quarters. I was on a random road that was quite far away from civilization. I only had a wrench and some gas, and I needed to do some work if I wanted to survive. I needed to get some food, water, and more gas for my jeep before it was too late. Time was gold, so I started driving. My first stop was a diner on the road. After managing to clear the surroundings with my wrench, I got inside and ate some food. Also found a crowbar, which was really lucky. Shortly after, I was on the road again. This jeep was my home, and the roads were my backyard. So I chilled in my house, admiring the sight of my infinite backyard. After some driving, I came across a warehouse. But while looking for the cars around the warehouse, one of the cars had an alarm that attracted a lot of zombies. So I had to dip. Near the warehouse, I found a car mechanic shop, which had the potential to be really useful. Because after all, this jeep was my home, and I needed to maintain it. I washed myself up, found some tools, and a mechanic book, so I did. But while exploring the surroundings of the car mechanic, a zombie with fancy boots and a large backpack found me. And I thought, what a lucky day. But then, I activated another alarm while trying to get into a building. I had to run to my car and hope that they would be busy with the alarm. I read my mechanics book as this was crucial for my car's longevity and continued my journey. I was on the road again. While driving, I came across a zombie with a long leather jacket and a strange gas mask, so I had to stop. He had a photo on him and a strange rifle scope. I gathered what I could from the strange zombie and kept driving. I found some gas in wrecked cars that I came across, so I was able to keep driving for a while. After getting some gas, I decided to make a to-do list. I had a riverside map, so I decided that my next destination would be riverside. I also needed to fill my gas tank to drive longer and level up my mechanics to repair my car's engine. I kept on driving. The dirt road I was driving on felt like it was looping. I thought to myself, were those the same trees that I saw before? Or are they different? The hunger was probably getting to me, I thought. But then, while on the road, I came upon something that could prove to be invaluable to my journey. A small trailer. An extension to my home, a little cupboard near my bed to complete my little house. This car felt like a real home now. On my way to Riverside, I came upon an inn named Horseshoe. Inns were always places for weary travelers, I thought, and went inside. They had a pool table with a single ball, but unfortunately, no pool cue to play. I drank some booze and got some high alcohol bourbon, both for medical and drinking purposes. I washed myself at the inn and slept in my car. Just as I was about to leave, I saw a police station and a farming and rural supply shop really close and decided to check inside. Well rested and motivated, I was able to clear the area easily. In the police station, I found a shotgun, a bandolier, and some shotgun shells. While I was about to check the farming and noodle supply, I had a really close call. And I was really lucky that I got out alive. Inside the farming and noodle supply, however, there were guns. A lot of guns. I had limited storage, so I decided to take a better shotgun, shells, a tiny revolver, and all the ammo for the weapons I got. Just as I was about to leave, I saw an AK-47 staring at me and decided to take that as well, even though I had no aiming skill to use it whatsoever. I left for the heavy load and kept driving. After some driving, I was distracted by a tool shop. I stopped my car, got my shotgun shells, and started blasting. I felt powerful for the first time in my journey. I was only limited by my shells, and I had a lot of shells. I blasted, blasted, and blasted, until the sun went down. After I was done, the place looked like a battlefield, but no one was killed because my enemy was already dead. There was a van in the battlefield, so I decided to expand my knowledge of car mechanics by playing around with the van's parts, and in doing that, I was able to learn a thing or two. It was morning, but I was really tired, so I went to sleep in my car. After waking up, I decided to read another mechanics book to expand my knowledge further. After reading my book, I got out of my jeep, but... I was so in my head thinking about car parts that I didn't see the zombie waiting outside my car's window. It managed to give me a laceration on my forehead. Was my journey over, I thought.
not knowing if I was infected or not, I kept going. Maybe I was lucky this time. I kept driving to Riverside. And I also had an annotated map that showed one guy having a gun in one of the houses. But for now, my biggest concern was to get to Riverside alive. There was a chance that I would turn into a zombie before even I got there. But I was able to fill my gas tank, so there was that, I guess. Going closer to death made me more careless. I started blasting again. After I was done, I felt tired, so I slept in my car once again. When I woke up, I felt cozy, and I thought for sure this was the end. But I had a small hope still. Maybe the corpses I killed was making me cozy. I thought. So I kept on driving, and to my surprise, I felt better after driving past the corpses. And I came to Riverside finally. But at what cost? I thought. I checked the house that was shown on the map and it only had a small revolver. I was disappointed. I decided to check Riverside's police station, and I got jumped by another zombie with a long leather jacket, but this time it had something a lot cooler for me. A rifle, which I already had a scope for. I put the scope on the rifle and tried it outside the station. It looked like all those blastings with my shotgun was paying off, and my aiming skills felt a little bit better than before. I parked my car in a car graveyard near Riverside and started studying mechanics once again. If I studied just a little bit more, I felt confident that I would be able to repair my car's engine. While I was uninstalling some parts from a random taxi cab, I got jumped. And this time, I was bitten. It was over. My luck had finally ran out. Keeping my calm, I bandaged my wounds, got to my car and drove to Riverside's high school. I had nothing left to lose, so I got a bleach from the janitor's closet and decided that I would set a nomad camp, the first and the last time in the woods. While driving to a camping spot, I saw a zombie with a spiffa suit, and I thought, wow, what a lucky find. I set up my camp, and the sun was going up. It was a beautiful morning, and the birds were chirping. This is how I died. You made it. I was planning to make this playthrough into a series, but I died a lot quicker than I thought. So yeah, thank you all for joining me in this journey, and I will see all you guys later in the next video. Bye bye.